what I've got here is my uh, controller board which I use for my um, water drip photography. For it to detect uh, a drop of water uh, and so sort of take a photograph, I need to sense that drop of water. So looking on this little sketch, what I've got is um, a photo is a laser going across to a photo um, transistor. So when a drop of water comes out, uh, it passes through the laser. That um, causes the phototransistor, uh, the signal on the phototransistor to dip, um, which then on the controller uh, starts a timer. So when the when the drop of water hits the splash here, um, that's the timer um, for it to take a picture. Um, what I'm looking to do with this is have this detection area wider. Um, what it is at the moment, I've got a little dot which gives me what, a couple of millimetres worth of, um, of space for me to detect. Um, and I want to make it so it's about a, wide, a width, is about a centimetre wide. It's looking from above um, anywhere in this area. Uh, I would like to be able to t detect a water drop that was passing down through through that zone, as it were. I've come up with a couple. I've come up with a couple of different circuits um, to deal with that. This one's a digital type circuit uh, and the other one's an analog. These photo transistors are uh, TEPT 4400s, uh, very small, uh, small jobs, about three millimeters. They are um, NPN type transistors that work in normal light. They got little, I've made some little sleeves to go over the phototransistors. Uh, I found that this improved the performance of the thing. This is the type of laser I'm using. You can see it's a, like a line. Um, if you search on uh, eBay for um, line laser module, uh, you'll get plenty of, uh, plenty of results. For this, for my first circuit, uh, I've got the four photo transistors. I showed you earlier. Um, these go into an inverter uh, here, and then the output of the inverters is sent into an OR gate, into a um, a dual four input OR gate. Um, on the OR gate, I've got the output of the second gate is connected to an input on the first one so I'll just get a single output. Um, on the phototransistors when the laser is lighting up the phototransistor the output is high. Uh, when something dips in front of it uh, the output uh, goes low but because the OR gate is looking for a high input to trigger for a, an output uh, I need to put it, put, the, put it through an inverter. The inverter will take that to low and convert it into a high. The microcontroller itself uh, is, in this case, is just showing that it's it's seeing a, a high on the uh, on the from the output of the OR gate. It's not actually doing anything, any kind of processing or anything. The OR gate uh, is this one. Um, the uh, CD4072, uh, the inverter is a uh, hex inverter, well, because I've got it in my box I was using the 74HC T04, but you probably, if you're going to make this yourself or remake it, you want that one, the 74HC04, the CMOS one. The software itself is, is the simplest it can be. Um, it just a couple of set pin setups and the output LED which is the blue one which you can see down here on the main loop it just simply reads the thing and if it's high uh, it lights up the um, lights up the LED and there's a little delay uh, here just to show that it's doing something 
uh, to make it easier to see. Now with the uh, second board connected up, this board is much more software driven than the uh, than the other one with the uh, with the logic. It uses a uh, HC4067 16 channel RNL multiplexer. Uh, the microcontroller selects um, which port it wants to read uh, and then the chip sends the output uh, from the selected port out into the signal and out into the microcontroller and then the microcontroller select decides whether or not to light uh, the LED or not. Software. I'm going to say brief. Uh, I'm going to miss out loads of detail because um, software is boring. So yes, these are my pin settings for the MUX uh, multiplexer. The MUX pins are then stuck into this array. As, as I use these four pins for the channel selection, uh, the array below it, this array, are the settings for each channel. That data comes from the uh, data sheet, which if you look on that truth table down here. Now there's two small functions, read mux and set thresholds. Uh, set thresholds gives me a set number to test against. If those readings are lower than the threshold, uh, then it's, it says that's a change. The read mux is the bit, this bit here, the read mux is the bit that actually reads the mux and returns the reading. And this reads our first four channels because that's where I've got it set up. If the reading is less than the threshold uh, it then goes it sets the change flag and put, turns the, LED, turns the uh, monitor LED on. There's a bit here for resetting the, the thresholds uh, but the, the bit that we want down here uh, so the change flag is on. This section here makes sure that the the LED, the tolerance LED, has just been st stays lit, uh, 200 milliseconds I think, and then it sets the flag to false again. Of the two boards, the um, digital one, I think, is obviously the simplest one for me to work with, in that the um, this controller really only has one uh, input port on it. Uh, for the laser um, can either be analog or digital um, so for simplicity and connecting up this one the digital one is uh, is the better of the two but when I was testing it I found it wasn't um, sensitive enough in that it would work well when the solid something solid went past but if I was using like a drop of water or something, um, it wouldn't pick it up. Or, so I can't really use this one. Um, the analog board is working the same way as it did does with the um, original um, receiver, but it needs four data lines, which the controller doesn't doesn't provide. Um, so what I'm looking probably going to use this in conjunction with this um, Arduino Mini to see. and then I can have that uh, listen for um, for the analog and finding a suitable doing what this Teensy is doing um, and then sending a logical um, signal out uh, instead so which adds more complexity but it, it'll be I think that'll be the best way to go go with that hopefully it'll all work uh, thank you